Inside the Football America studio, Hercules Gomez, Mauricio Pedrosa. A lot has been said over the years regarding Major League Soccer's uh, position, status among all professional sports in the United States, right? Here's a quote from Daryl Morey, a uh, big-time owner on the future of Major League Soccer. He said, general manager as well, Major League Soccer will be bigger than the NHL. This is via this Lone Sports Conference. What do you make of this quote? I think our man Daryl Morey is uh, confusing soccer for Major League Soccer. If soccer is a niche sport within the United States, Major League Soccer is even more of a niche part of that sport. Now, sure, you could take TV rights deals, right? Uh, I think it's $645 million for NHL. Uh, package includes Turner and ESP. Yep. They don't have to produce any of their content. Apple gave Major League Soccer $2.5 billion over 10 years. More than half of that will go to production, to talent, to all these different things. Uh, in, in creating their content, an average MLS viewership is around 250, 300,000. If you get about 400,000 or higher, that's considered very that's a good. good. Game. Yeah. The average NHL last season was 478,000 as a viewer. Average. Now, here's the most important thing millions of people tune into the Stanley Cup. Last year, 4.6, about 4.6 million people tuned into the Stanley Cup. That is not the case for Major League Soccer. So do not confuse soccer, which potentially could overtake yep. NHL as the biggest sport. You can soccer and hockey, not Correct. Major League Soccer and NHL. NHL. In the States, do not confuse those things. Soccer is one thing. Major League Soccer is another. It all depends on how you're going to measure it, right? I just told you how. No, I know. But I mean, I'm, this is a... a a question that I'm asking myself. Because you can also consider new fans. Correct. Right? And I think that's a big element sure. for that. Sure. Let's remember, hockey went through a period in which it was not no longer broadcast on ESPN. It was huge when ESPN was the right holder for the NHL and other networks. It went to another provider. And the fan base diluted. That's yes. just reality. It they is. lost a lot of fans. Now, Major League Soccer, who just lost its, par its partnership with ESPN, I'm still waiting to see how does that impact the younger fan base in the long term. Because that's, that's how they roll the dice, right? We, we, we want to go to a different media outlet, different media distributor, which is Apple TV. There's a chance it will have the same impact it did 20 years ago, after the strike, with the National Hockey League. And, and that's fine. I just think he's getting ahead of himself. Can, they over, can soccer overtake hockey? Absolutely. You've mentioned the reasons why the popularity for hockey have dwindled. Uh, but at the end of the day, TV ratings are prime. TV ratings are what keeps you relevant and what keeps you liquid, what keeps you fluid, what keeps that influx of money coming in. Major League Soccer is still very young. They're still trying to get to where NHL is. Can they overtake it? Soccer in general, yes. Can Major League Soccer overtake it? It's going to take much more than about 300 to 400,000 viewers uh, yeah. a week. And this, you are competing against another entity, another league. I think that's the wrong way to see it. You're competing against yourself. You're competing against your own numbers. You're competing against your 2022 numbers, your 2021 numbers. And if you're not able to better those numbers, then you're not doing the things right. We don't know yet. It has... This, you know, this, you know, this, this experiment just started. It's, we'll talk a year from today to see how it went. It is funny. It is ironic that they're two very similar sports in the way that they are viewed by some. Um, and I'll give you an example. Uh, really quickly, our colleague, Max Kellerman, always uses the example of, of the NHL is popular in every city. They sell out. There's an arena that's sold out for the NHL in every city. But nobody watches them because the television numbers are, 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 aren't that great, he would claim, right? That, that's kind of where Major League Soccer is as well. You could find a lot of cities that sell out in, in an impressive fashion their stadiums, but they aren't relevant in their markets. Mm -hmm. There are hockey teams that are very relevant in their markets and beyond. That's where Major League Soccer needs to go to if they want to overtake the NHL. Darrell Morey is one of the most creative uh, executives, general managers in history, particularly of the NBA. 
uh, innovator, creative, uh, was not afraid of doing big deals. In the end, I believe it's, it's going to be hard for us to measure just with ratings or any other element if eventually Major League Soccer will be bigger than the NHL. I'll just close it this way. It's very, it's very easy and naive to see the World Cup and that buzz and equate yeah. it to domestic football. I think sometimes people fall into that trap. That's, that's not how it goes. They're not hand in hand. They're not exclusive, mutually exclusive. All right. For more, make sure to catch Football Americas every Monday and Thursday on ESPN+.